Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the Tonight Show. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I really appreciate this. It makes me happy. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, let's get to uh, the news and some jokes here. Well, guys, I hope everyone had a nice Labor Day weekend. Uh, it was actually a busy Labor Day for President Trump. He held a 45-minute press conference where he launched an attack against leaders of the U.S. military. He launched uh, more insults at Joe Biden, and he even launched something from his nose. People are wondering, man, was that the booger? Was it drugs? I'd like to think he was uh, eating crackers by sticking them up his nose. Uh, hey, you know what could have stopped that projectile? A mask. <laughs> Even worse, uh, whatever flew out of his nose hit that U.S. Open line judge in the throat. And that's... <laughs> you don't like to see that. Well, everyone is still talking about the Atlantic's report that Trump called fallen service members losers and suckers. And yesterday, when Trump was asked about it, he once again denied ever saying it. Listen to his response. Who would say a thing like that? Only an animal would say a thing like that. Yeah. I bet if an animal did say that, it would probably be this one. But I don't want to get on it. Other than the 245 times Trump has actually called someone a loser and a sucker on Twitter, he'd never say anything like that. That's right. Trump allegedly made outrageously offensive remarks. So you know what that means. Nothing happens to Trump, and Billy Bush gets fired. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more upsetting, the comments Trump reportedly made or what he's going to do to change the subject. And that's why we're nuking the moon. <laughs> that was a pretty crazy press conference. At one point, Trump went off in a rant attacking military leaders. Because when you're in a scandal about calling soldiers names, the best defense is to antagonize their bosses. <laughs> Trump was like, and this goes all the way to the top, people. Whoever is the chief of all the commanders. If that wasn't enough, at that same press conference, Trump told a reporter to take off his mask. Take, watch this. The issue of what happened when you were in France continues to be a story. You're going to have to take that off, please. Just, you can take I'll, it off. You're, you're, how, how many feet are you away? I'll speak a lot louder. Well, if you don't take it off, you're very muffled. So if you would take it off, it would be a lot easier. I'll, I'll just speak a lot louder. Is that better? It's better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is Trump doing? He's the president of the United States, not Velma at the end of an episode of Scooby-Doo. <gasps> <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks like all the scandals that have plagued Trump's presidency are starting to catch up with him. Check it out. The president is disputing a report in the New York Times that his campaign has squandered its fundraising advantage. They burned through $800 million of the $1.1 billion they raised since 2019, some of what are described as vanity splurges. Yeah, you can tell he's strapped for cash because now all his speeches have product placements. We will repeal Obamacare and replace it with delicious, nutritious boar head. <laughs> <laughs> Boar's head cold cuts. <laughs> I don't know what I'm holding there, like a jar of cold cuts? A ham. A ham. Ah, that's good. Give up the ham. Uh, Trump's campaign has already spent $800 million, and he's still losing by almost 10 points. So far, it's the worst money spent since you bought Skechers Shape Ups. <laughs> I'm working out. I'm going to the bar. I'm feeling good, man. I, I gained a few, but maybe it's muscle. Seriously, they blew through $800 million in a few months. Who's running his campaign? Trump in the 80s? In the 90s? <laughs> now Trump's claiming he's going to spend up to $100 million of his own money. It's a great idea. Mike Bloomberg heard and was like, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> but the Trump campaign isn't worried, especially because they're about to bring in a few million from Don Jr.'s Visine endorsement. <laughs> the campaign also just spent $156,000 on planes that pull banners. So their advertising strategy is basically the same as the clam shack down at Jersey Shore. <laughs> you can tell Trump's campaign is running out of money because this weekend they sunk a bunch of boats for the insurance money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But this morning, Trump denied the report and sent a tweet saying that they have lots of money. That would have been more convincing if Trump's next tweet wasn't his Venmo handle and the prayer hands emoji. <laughs> 
Can we see the last line of his tweet again? Yeah. Trump's tweets look like a spam email you shouldn't open. It's like <laughs> lots of dollar signs and energy. Ooh, that sounds... Uh. Uh, meanwhile, just when it seemed like things couldn't sink any lower for Trump and his supporters, it appears that they literally can. Watch this. There were several boats that sank during a lake parade supporting President Trump. The sheriff's office says calls started coming in almost immediately after the parade started on Saturday. At least three of the boats were recovered, but some are still underwater. You know, if Trump were on board, he would have been like, out of the way, women and children, presidents first. Okay, here we go. <laughs> thank you. Do you mind if I step on your back just to get out of here? Thank you. <laughs> yep, the event's Facebook page said, let's really make a statement. Unfortunately, that statement was, help, my boat is sinking. <laughs> Ironically, while the boats were sinking, Republicans in Congress spent two months debating whether or not to send them a life raft. Uh, that's your New York Times joke of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Boar's Head Cold Cuts. <laughs> the finest jarred cold cuts. <laughs> Oh, man, this isn't good. This weekend in California, a wildfire started uh, burning, and it was caused by a pretty unlikely source. This is real. Listen to this. The El Dorado fire here in San Bernardino started by a smoke-generating pyrotechnic device used at a gender reveal party. Oh, my goodness. They, they use pyrotechnics? Seriously. It's a gender reveal, not a kiss concert. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Even people who fall off cliffs taking selfies are like, what a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yeah, it turns out the couple is expecting six months in jail and thousands of legal fees. And finally, listen to this. The founder of Jelly Belly announced that he is going to give away a Florida candy factory as part of a nationwide treasure hunt. It's great until you find out it's the factory that makes all the buttered popcorn flavored jelly beans. We have a great show for you tonight. The very funny Joel McHale is here. His latest album, Detroit 2, is number one on iTunes. We'll be talking to him and then he'll be performing his latest single, Harder Than My Demons. Big Sean is here. Love Big Sean. We're back after two weeks. Did you guys have a good break? Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Wow. You didn't enjoy yourself? I mean, it was okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. With just a lot of just things happening? Yeah, you know, just chilling. Hmm. Hanging out around the crib, you know. What, what are, you, are you watching anything on TV? What, what are you watching that was good? Oh, man, what am I watching? Uh, you know, I've been watching this thing uh, called Love Swindler. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what? I, mean, I, we, I feel like we have different... It's crazy. It's like... Is it American? It's, yeah, it's on Showtime. It's about this dude who, like, um, he swindled all these unsuspecting uh, middle-aged white women out of uh, their life savings. He just kept, like, reinventing himself. He was, like, a plastic surgeon and then a real estate agent. Then he had, like, this crab restaurant, and he just, you know, he would go... <laughs> From town to town, like reinventing himself. Wait, Love Swindler? Yeah. And it's a documentary? It's a documentary series, yeah. Oh, I want to check that out. It's That's on, what I'm all about. It's on Showtime. Dude. Yeah, you know, I'm about no. to swindle life too. No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm into documentaries. I'm into documentaries. Yes, yes. yeah, me That's too. That's what I mean. Me too, yeah. I'm watching, uh, I'm watching The Vow. You watching that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whew. Dude, it's on HBO Max. Yeah. I have like 10 HBOs now. I know, right? I had to sign up for a whole new thing. It's crazy. HBO Max, a whole new channel. You can jam. never find, like, you know, if you don't watch something in its entirety, you can never get back to the platform that you were watching it on. It's like, wait, where did this thing Yeah, go? where did I find that? Yeah. Well, this I found, I read about it, and then I found it, and then I signed up, and now I'm on that. But this thing isn't a whole jam. You only get two, it's only up to like two or yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, a little bit at a time. I've been watching that too. The it's fantastic. You yeah. see it, Quest? I've not seen it, no. Dude, it is what nuts. Is it? Real deal, real deal craziness. It's wild. I watched that. I watched Class Action Park on HBO Max again. I feel like a boar's head. <laughs> <laughs> There's was on NBC, which yeah, re yeah, yeah. But no, uh, uh, Class Action Park, have you seen that? No. I, I, no. Have you seen that? Yeah. It's a real thing. Anyone here seen that? 
It's a, it's Gerard, yeah, we went to it. I, in my high school, I went to Action Park as a theme park in New Jersey, but it basically has no rules. It's like, and people were just getting hurt every single, there was an like alpine slide where you would just, it was a plastic thing you sat on and it had a control stick that would like have break or fast and it was always broken. So it doesn't matter, you just zoom by and if you try to stop, you'd scrape up your elbows and like, oh, it's crazy. And they had crazy. And that's New the York? fun of the game? Like, that's... No, not supposed to be. It's, oh. supposed, to be, it's supposed to be fun in the theme park. There's no rules. You, that was my first time I, and last time I bungee jumped. And, <laughs> and it, you cliff diving, you would jump off this cliff and, and I, I, you jump off of like an 18 foot cliff into a pool, a swimming pool, and then people would just jump on you because there's no rules. That's Kids, crazy. No, it's really crazy. So they, it was called Action Park. I loved it. I think I did. I don't even remember. It's probably terrible. But it, it sounds pretty terrible. It sounds like Action Park was about that swindle life. <laughs> <laughs> Might be on the episode, man. Yeah. You never know. I got to check it out. Uh, but we're here. We're back in the building. I'm psyched to see everybody here and uh, everyone uh, for doing this. Uh, and very, very cool. Upstairs, Late Night with Seth Myers is back in the studio yeah. at 30 Rock. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. That's awesome, man. Uh, you, you, can feel, you can feel the vibe, I think, there, I think, in the, in the city, walking around in New York City. I think, uh, you know, people are, people are out with masks and doing it, but it's, it's happening. And I'm psyched Seth and the gang are back. Um, Seth, what do you have planned for us this week? Hey, Jimmy, it's so great to be back in the building with you again. Tonight, we have Jane Fonda and our mutual friend from SNL, Yorma Taccone. And later in the week, John Cleese and Sheryl Crow. And then Thursday, Michael Cohen is going to tell us about his new book and all new Closer Looks all week. Hey, and I'm sorry I can't come down and visit, but your kids, cute as they may be, they look like super spreaders to me. Also, I am going to send down some sushi that I saved for you from before we left the building in March, because I know you love sushi. It was salmon, but now it looks like eel. Anyway, enjoy, bud. Well, we'll be watching us. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on.